Sherman. Travers, the comment was made on a radio show, The Right Chicks, on WGSO. And in the segment we saw, a caller used an offensive term against Landrew. That's when Landrew, an independent candidate, went on to say that he and his siblings were called bad names and learned how to protect and defend themselves at an early age. In the video we saw, Landrew used the N-word in an example of one of the names he and his family were called. Gary Landrew's cousin, former Mitch Landrew, removed three monuments of Confederate figures from New Orleans. We asked local political expert Dr. Silas Lee what an incident like this could do to a state candidate. Let's say if, if a different candidate, more competitive situation, certainly would cause more attention, it would impact their standing in the polls. However, in this particular case, you have to be considerate of the fact that you do not have to respond with a derogatory term by using something that someone else called the family. Earlier this afternoon, I reached out to his campaign spokesperson. They told me they're working on organizing a press conference to address this matter. We called his personal number listed on the Secretary of State's website, but it's out of service. Travers.